Hey, it's Joseph from Magic Touch again. This video, we're going to show you how to install the Magic Touch Space Control Print Utility RIP software. Now, our tech department sends the software through WeTransfer.com because it's a big file. It's going to come in a compressed file like this. Okay, you're going to have to extract the file. So, what you want to do is right-click on it, hit Extract All, press Extract, and it saves automatically automatically to your desktop. So we're gonna close this, and there's the folder that generated. We're gonna put it right next to it. Now, this extract file, you can save it in your folders, delete it, doesn't matter. You already extracted it out with the zip file. So this file is ready to extract it from the zip file. We're gonna double click it. There's our space control folder. We're gonna double click, and there's all you need inside there. So. There's a setup guide if you don't want to watch this video, which I don't know why you don't want to watch it. It's going to be a great video for you. Uh, but we're going to click on this space control for setup. Okay. Once you click the space control for setup, the printer is going to ask you, do you want to allow this app to uh, change it to your device? Just click yes. You want to select the in English, press okay. Press next. You accept to everything. It's all good. We're not doing anything sneaky. <laughs> Press next. Now, here's the files that you want. Do you want a desk uh, icon on your desktop? You do. So we want to press next. The icon, what do you want to name it? We name it Space Control, that's our program, but if you want to name it Oki Driver or something, you can name it anything you want to. Press next. There's that create desktop icon. You want that. Hit next and install. Finish. Now, the space control is set up in the icon, but it's not set up completely yet. We're gonna double click it, and there is the space control for the 8432. Now, you can make it bigger if you want and things like that, but the most important thing is this. Under utility, you wanna hit license install. There is the space control with your software hit space control again, and there's your license. You have to install the license to activate the software. Click on your license, you'll see it as the file name, and press open. Now, your space control utility rip software is ready to run. A Couple things which you wanna do right off the bat is go to utility again, hit printer mode, and make sure the drivers are underlined as off. When that happens, you're turning off the generic Oki drivers and turning on the printing utility rip software intended for the magic touch papers. So you want to make sure that is off. Next, what you want to do is go under tools, unit settings, and make sure that it's here in inches. You don't want it in millimeters or centimeters. Just make sure you uh, convert your measurements into inches. And you're ready to play with the space control utility rip software. I'm going to show you how the software works. So, we're gonna grab, there's two ways of uh, loading an image into this box right here. You see the Magic Touch logo? You can either drag an image into the software or hit file, open, and find your software. Uh, we're gonna drag our image that we use for trade shows, the skull, and it's gonna generate in there. Once it generates, just like that. Now what's great about the Oki 8432 is this. It saves you on toner cost. It helps you control the white toner as well. It does all the preset settings for the Magic Touch papers. So you never have to worry about uh, white threshold, white density, mirroring an image, anything like that. All you're responsible for is saving your image in Photoshop or Corel, selecting the paper that we have. We have nine different papers here. TTC for light shirts. T1 is a one-step self-weeding, self-cutting for light and medium shirts. OBM is intended for block images. The WOW is the two-step process for dark shirts, CPM for hard surface, RST for raw wood, the water slide decal for candles, tattoos, you know, a tattoo, and the CL media is a sticker paper for window decals. So all you're responsible for is saving your image in Photoshop or Corel, dragging it into the software, and selecting the paper that you're using. So I wanna see, show you right here, when you select the T1, what happens is when you select the T1 or any of our papers, the software takes over and you see how it mirrors your image, it prints the color, it prints the white. The only thing, like you said, you're responsible for is saving your image correctly in Photoshop or Corel, dragging it, selecting the paper, and pressing print. That's how simple the software is to use. 
is not complicated at all. There's no need to rasterize. There's no need to get, all you have to do is save your image correctly, select the paper and press print. Now I'm gonna show you a couple cool features of the software. So right below that, because you have the 8432, you have the capability of printing many sizes here. The two main ones you're gonna be sticking with is A4, which is eight and a half by 11, and A3, which is 11 by 17. Now what's great about these papers is you're not limited. So you can print big, small, it doesn't matter. Now what's great about the software, which I love it, is for the sizing uh, of an image. So right here you see the image is uh, seven by 10, but let's say you're doing a couple pocket logos. You can highlight that, size up how you want it. So it's a two by two, a two by 2.7. And then right underneath that automatic tile, you hit that and it gains how many sheet of, uh, you can on a sheet of paper. That's what's great about the software is you're not gonna be wasting paper. You can fit it as many logos as you can, gang up on images on a sheet, that way you're not wasting anything. Um, but for this process, we're gonna print the full bleed image. So we're gonna unclick automatic tile and press fit the page, okay? Now, um, there's a couple things you could do in this software. The software, for instance, if you select the A4 paper, it's gonna bring it back to the A4 size. Um, so you're, you're not limited on paper size. Now the DPI right here, the DPI is the resolution of the image. You want to keep the DPI in between a 250 or above. Anything below that, the image is going to be poor quality. Um, the printer and software is amazing, but it, it, it prints exactly how you save it. So you want to make sure the resolution is 250 or above. Okay. Um, so you should be good to go. So we're going to now press print. Make sure everything's okay, we have a copy one. So there's your OK 8432. We have our paper selected that we're using and the paper size. Okay, we're gonna actually use the bigger paper for this one. All right, we're gonna press fit the page to make it big as possible. You see it's 11 by 15 here. Everything looks great. So remember, fit the page means you can maximize your print quality on your image. It's gonna fit as big as the image it can on a piece of paper for you. So we're gonna press print. Now, the Oki 8432, we also recommend you using the multi-purpose tray, which is the, uh, which is the bypass tray. You can see right here under the paper tray, it's always selected for you, the multi-purpose tray. Okay, next. This is your multi-purpose tray, right here. See how it comes out? You can put the big paper or little paper in. How you feed the big paper is only one way. Short edge, just like this. You put it in and you close it. Now, with the Oki 8432, there's two ways, there's two ways of doing it. Uh, when you print it, you can either have the back of the printer open or close the back printer. Either way, the paper is gonna come out either through the back or through the top. As you can see, it's taking it. Now we have the back closed, so the paper is gonna come out through the top just like that. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That's how you print with the space control software using the Oki 8432. Now, the A3 11 by 17 paper, there's only one way to feed it just like that. With the with the A4 paper, the eight and a half by 11, you want to make sure you feed the paper short edge, just like this. Okay? You don't want to feed it, I'm sorry, long edge. You don't want to feed a short edge because if you feed a short edge, it's going to print um, It's going to print vertically for you. It's not going to print right. You want to make sure every time you're using the printer, the Oki 8432 with the A4 paper, the eight and a half by 11, you feed it long edge, just like this. So if you're feeding it long edge, you want to go back to your software, select the A4 paper, which is the eight and a half by 11. Remember, A4 is eight and a half by 11, A3 is 11 by 17, and then you press print, okay? That's very, very, very important. So remember, when feeding the paper, feeding long edge, what's great about this great tab here as well is it resets everything. So if you lift it up, it's gonna hold off everything till you bring it back down, okay? So the printed processes usually takes about five to 10 seconds for the printer to print. Once it's printing, it prints anywhere from 40 to 50 pages per minute, okay? So once that prints, it's gonna come through the top. And you can stack the T1, um, so you can print you know, 20, 30 pages at one time. If you're gonna stack any of the paper, 
Make sure you fan it out because the paper's so thin it might stick together. So make sure you fan it out before you stack it. But there you have it. That's how you print the A4 and A3 using the Magic Touch Space Control Utility Rip software. Any questions, please let us know. Thank you.